Hey everyone, it's Ivan, KitBadger.com, out here for another gear review, and today I'm talking about this little guy right here, which is the JSTA pouch by Spiritus Systems. Big picture, what is it? It is something designed to basically create a mag pouch as well as a general purpose pouch for space savings like on your battle belt, something along those lines. You can obviously mount it anywhere, PALS compatible, whether it is on a battle belt, on a plate carrier, backpack, placard, something along those lines, or it's also made to where you can basically just run a belt through it too and run it on pretty much just a regular belt. So with it, there's some kind of unique things and pretty neat kind of how you can configure it. As I had mentioned, of course, PALS compatible, put it up against whatever webbing, weave this guy through, makes it nice and secure. And then of course, you have this set up for basically just running a belt through here, right or left side, run it that way. Around the front, we have this flap, a little grab piece here, Velcro closure, and then on the inside, basically two different compartments. You have a bunch of female Velcro along there, get it more on that in a second, and then kind of a other shallower, smaller kind of admin pouch right there. And then of course the heart of it up here where we can put different inserts as well. As I mentioned, this interior field inside there, you can use different panels like this guy. Basically, it'll go down there and stick on. This one will hold either CR123 batteries, shotgun shells. They have another one with sized loops, more or less for like chem lights or AA batteries, depending on what you want to do. But basically, some organization, depending on your mission, how you're going to carry it, how you're going to use it. And then when we get back here, this pouch, basically set it up for whatever you're running. By way of example, I have a AR mag and a pistol mag. You can, of course, right here is the double pistol mag if you're just running pistol, or you can just have one rifle mag to include a 308 AK, pretty much whatever you wanna put in there. Which brings me to how have I used this? Well, I've actually never mounted it on a battle belt or pretty much anything other than just a regular belt. For me, it's been actually a great go-to when I just am out at the range doing some training and stuff like that. Oftentimes, honestly, I'll just be drawing magazines out of a pocket, out of a jacket pocket, out of usually I'll be wearing like Raider pants by Prometheus Design Works. They have two pockets right up front, as well as one on basically the thigh or either thigh, perfectly sized for AR mags. Not so much for pistol mags, kind of got to situate them, but depending on pants, I, yeah, lots of times just draw out of pants. But it's really nice, especially if you're going to a class, to be able to have consistent draw for your magazines. And in addition to that, basically extra storage. So I've definitely shot this in classes and it's done a good job for me. One, if you're just shooting pistol, have it basically set up two pistol mags and then inside here, you can have spare loaded pistol mags, just refill it as need be. And then it's like, okay, cool. Go back jam mags, grab all your empties, throw it in there like a dump pouch, pretty easy. And yeah, same thing with being able to shoot rifle. So usually, as I mentioned, I'll just have this running on my belt. Set up like that, good to go. The other thing I do really like about having this basically set up and just shooting courses with it is gives you everything you need and nothing else. So rather than weighing yourself down with a plate carrier for the sake of wearing a plate carrier, this gives you access to those magazines, really easy draw, whatever it is, and lets you focus on what you're there to do, like learning from the instructor, rather than just getting worn out by your gear. Price-wise, for the JSTA pouch, you're looking at about 65 bucks, and then basically whatever inserts you wanna get for it. Honestly, I think there's a lot of value there. Cut, sewn here in the US, available in pretty much all of your multicam, all of your standard fair colors, and flexibility. Especially, again, 
I don't usually do it, but if you end up running it on like a war belt, something along those lines, the ability to have mag pouches, have access to those, and also have a general purpose pouch. Especially depending on how big you are, how wide you are, there's only so much real estate on there. And being able to have kind of a catch-all general purpose pouch is pretty handy. I mean, even if you're just carrying snacks or it turns into a dump pouch, just placing up magazines. As I mentioned, the way I usually use it is just standalone on my belt on the range, and it does a great job for me. It's way easier than putting on a war belt every time I wanna go and train. And in addition to that, still get those good reps of basically drawing out from where, if I'm gonna wear a war belt, those magazines would be, which is pretty handy. But if you wanna pick them up, get them directly through Spirit of Systems. And lastly, if you appreciate my content and wanna support it, greatly appreciate it. One of the ways is picking up shirts over there at Teespring, all kinds of different designs to include some cool ones from Grey Death Adder. And lastly, supporting me directly through Patreon. Helps me go out there, create more content for you. And as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time. So clean and oily. Smoke ring still going. Probably about two and a half feet wide.